I have an identical twin, she's my best friend. I always thought of us as two sides of the same coin. So while we were both strong runners, like I was the long distance runner and she was a sprinter. And when we both loved science, I focused really on math and she was on physics. And I think that we did that so that we were never competing against each other directly. We went to separate colleges, which was in a growth period for me. I had never walked into a room by myself. Even that first year was the first time anybody had ever sang happy birthday to me without my twin in the same song. So before HBS, I was a mathematician within the Department of Defense. People say to me all the time, like, wow, you studied math. But I really studied math because I thought I was bad at it and study it and get better at it. Another part of my background was also studying computer science. The idea behind applying to the MBA, I, the seeds were planted long before the day that I actually ultimately did decide to do an MBA. I was always somebody that um, had had business ideas. I remember being in my very first office and talking to the software developer next to me and just telling him about this crazy business idea that he had and he was like, oh, you could build it. And then the next day I would come in with a completely new idea. That season in the summer before MBA applications are submitted um, and every one of my friends around in the DC area was starting to think about it. One of them had, had suggested to me, you should think about doing it too. I decided that same day that I was gonna apply for round one, which was three weeks later, and I was gonna sign up for the GMAT and I was gonna write all my essays. I think that just is a symbol though. I'm always pretty active on things and that type of urgency that I applied to the MBA program really leads to now my next step of wanting to be an entrepreneur and applying that same urgency to something else. I was really attracted to the fact that HBS was growing their entrepreneurship community. I've always loved to be at things at the beginning of them, and being at the start of the MSMBA program in particular was a huge draw. I was reading about it and it all just clicked that finally there was not only a school that had a really strong business program, I wasn't gonna lose sight of goals for entrepreneurship, but it also had a program that wouldn't let me lose sight of technology. The way that they fit in two degrees in two years is an amazing deal. Some of the best elements of it, it's a really small cohort. We have about 30 people and we all know each other really well and I already feel at home and just that bond that you feel when you're like debugging code all day that we've all been through this and we've all sweated and cried through engineering tests and here we are we've made it and now we're in business school. So my first year at HBS has been amazing. I think I was really nervous about the case and method and what it would mean to participate every single day given that I haven't typically been somebody that raises my hand or speaks up in meetings. I think I was also nervous about the people, like whether I was gonna be able to add anything to the discussion, especially if it's about finance or strategy or something that's not along the lines of you know code and software engineering. But what's been amazing is just how both of those things have been completely debunked. Again, has just raised my confidence as this being more or less an introvert. It's really important that um, I've been able to find my own voice in even those settings as well.